very, very warm summer in September. Most of our days in September, right up to even opening day of season was 88, 90 degrees. We had a great cool front come through a couple evenings ago. I've been holding off on this spot. Uh, we're gonna be easing up this fence line, getting into a blind. We've got a, an acorn flat. It's a staging area before these deer are coming out into this pasture field, uh, feeding on some clover and other grasses, and they just work on them down into a creek bottom uh, just for their evening social events. So we've got a deer up here that we're hoping to, to come in. I uh, pulled my cards a couple of days ago and three out of the four nights, uh, he was there between 5.30, 6.30 every evening. So we've been planning our hunt. We're gonna hunt our plant. Right here is a truly exceptional product by Brow Tine Industries called Widowmaker. It's a great top dressing if you're feeding corn or just something else. Uh, I like to use it as something to give those deer, you know, they've got a sweet tooth. They like something that tastes good and this is going to help. It's got a great odor. It's going to draw them to it. They're going to find it easy. Uh, they're attracted to it and it's going to get these deer before they go out of this field of the evening. They're going to stop right here at this spot here for a shot. So we're going to touch this up and be ready for the evening's hunt. So as, as my anticipation was starting to build for archery season, I uh, kept you know, shooting my bow, checking trail cameras, got a blind put up and brushed in, and was worried about whether or not that blind getting set up would alter the travel pattern of this eight point. Well, it never did. So when the season came in, it was still really hot, really warm. I waited till five or six days into season for a cool front to come through to drop the temperatures about 15 degrees. And when it did, I made my move. Got in, got set up, pulled my camera card just to make sure that he was still hitting the area. And of course he was. Like clockwork, this eight point was still coming down, staging at this oak flat before crossing the fence and going down this point. Funny thing would have it as the deer showed up, as soon as he ran over the bank, he started feeding and pointed his face directly at me. I had no shot. So it gave me enough time to be able to try to settle my nerves and calm down and wait for an opportunity. Man, talk about a plan coming together. Oh my God. Oh man, he came in and I got all excited and didn't have the camera on record. And uh, didn't know if he'd ever turn once I got recording, man. Had like seven minutes of footage on him. But man, I just seen him run up the bank and watched him roll. We're gonna give him a few minutes and go. Listen. Tell Eli that Daddy got his deer. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. Daddy's got the big deer down. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna go back and look for him. I gave him a few minutes. Uh, uh, watch him roll over, and we're gonna go back and get him. Tell Eli he'll have a big deer story here in a little bit. All right. Bye. Pretty good eight point to start out West Virginia's archery season. 
He's been getting trail cams on this deer for about the last month. Got set up, got a blind in, and waited for the weather to try to cool down just a little bit. And that's what happens when you plan your hunt and hunt your plan.